Welcome to East Meets West, women icon makers of West Ukraine. This video features three icons in the show of the transfiguration of Christ. The New Testament tells us that Jesus took his disciples, Peter, James, and John, up a mountain where he revealed his divinity to them, changing before their eyes into a dazzling white figure in conversation with the prophets Elijah and Moses. This 6th century mosaic in St. Catherine's Monastery in Sinai is one of the earliest representations of the theme in sacred art. The Transfiguration story is central to the Eastern Orthodox idea of salvation. Western Christians say Christ came to redeem them from their sins. The Orthodox believe that, in the words of Church Fathers, Christ became human so that humans could become like God. This theological concept of deification is demonstrated for them in the Transfiguration. The image of the Sinai mosaic has remained largely unchanged down the centuries. Here is a 15th century icon from Russia where Christ is enclosed in a circle of light atop a mountain. He is standing between Elijah and Moses while the three disciples fall back in fear and awe. The visual elements are repeated in this modern icon of the Transfiguration, available in the Etsy shop of a Bulgarian icon maker. With this prototype in mind, let's take a look now at the different ways three women icon makers from Lviv present the Transfiguration. What's most striking about Luba Yatskif's icon is its vertical format, focusing our attention on Christ. He is almost twice as large as Elijah, Moses, and the disciples who have been pushed to the margins. Christ is encapsulated in a divine mandala, where the brilliance of his white garments is complemented by the shimmering silver background with its etched-in rays. Yatskiv heightens the light around Christ by painting everything outside the holy oval in a wash of gray. One interesting detail is the way Christ's left foot extends just outside the divine boundary to touch the earth, reminding us of his humanity. Katerina Kuziv removes the disciples altogether from her icon of the Transfiguration, so we see only Christ with Elijah and Moses. In sacred art, the circle represents eternity the square, everything that is earthbound and limited by time. Kuzif sets the three Byzantine-styled figures in or on the edge of a circle within the square of the picture space. The settings of her biblical stories are minimal and monochrome, marked with paint blots that perhaps signify a fallen world. Divine activity in the human realm is signaled by broad brush strokes of blue, they break like waves over the holy trio here at the moment of Christ's transfiguration. Eternal circles and curves dominate the composition of the last of the three transfiguration icons by Klifira Scherbach. Elijah and Moses seem to be pushed back in a ripple effect from the transfigured Christ who is the focal point of the scene in a circle edged in gold. Peter, James, and John spin like pinwheels at the foot of the mountain that is shaped by patterns in parallel lines. In an interesting touch, the curve containing the two prophets ends in a winged angel who looks on in amazement as heaven comes to earth. Rather than copying traditional prototypes of the Transfiguration, these icons offer three novel and even challenging perspectives on a time-honored theme. Since preparing this video, I've added a fourth icon of the Transfiguration to the show in a very different style by exhibition artist Katerina Shudrina. She places the transfigured Christ and the prophets Moses and Elijah in a confining square that gives you the feeling the realm of time and space cannot fully contain the things of, of heaven. As we saw in the Transfiguration icon by Klafira Scherbach, the awestruck Peter, James, and John seem to twirl, encircled in moments of eternity. The most striking feature of Shadrina's icon is the brilliant use of color. 
electric pinks and blues swirling around Christ and the two prophets suggest a new age dawning in a darkened world. Lime green rays shoot out from Christ to frame the icon. Shadrina uses the same effect in two other icons in my collection of the Nativity and Christ praying in Gethsemane, where the events are caught quite literally in a divine limelight. In her emphatic use of color, Shadrina reminds us that pure white light is really composed of all the colors of the spectrum.